Now we're heading under the Auckland CBD, the very place the Prime Minister was supposed to be today until sickness got in the way. So what did she miss out on? Our own Seven Sharp statesman Michael Holland garbed up to take a look. So the mole is going back down the hole. Yes, I know. I look ridiculous, but they assured me that too big was better than too small. You're having a good old laugh at my expense, aren't you? Oh, I like them, I might get a pair. <laughs> Ridicule aside, it's fair to say hundreds have donned their big boys and girls pants to get Auckland's underground to where it sees the light here in Mount Eden after its three and a half kilometre climb from the bottom of Queen Street. Does the public of Auckland know there are going to be three-seater trains and that's it? <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we think this will go fine. <laughs> <laughs> One an hour? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Three seats. You can really see that we're getting there. This is a massive uh, technological undertaking. We've just gone under the southern motorway and we're only about four or five metres from the road there. So that was a moment. No doubt the traffic's at the standstill as it always is. Oh, yeah, well, we're going to fix that. <laughs> The giant boring machine now carving out a separate tunnel for trains heading towards the city. The huge beast in hugely experienced hands. 48 years. 48 years tunnelling now. Yeah. First project? First project was the uh, Kaimai Tunnel. I started there in 1974. I'm as passionate today as I was when I was 18. You can say that hand on heart. Hand on heart. And more passion just round the bend. I love this place. True? I love this place, yep. This is my environment. I built this environment. We built this environment. I was in this exact spot a year ago, and it's come a long way. That tunnel there was a dirt wall. And look at it now. So, this is part of the Karangahapi station. This is the Mercury Lane entrance. Eva's seven years out of engineering school and we find her almost 30 metres down. This project has given me a huge opportunity, just the complexity of the work that we're doing. We did what was called a top-down construction, so we built the top floor, dug to the next level, built the next floor, dug again, built that floor and then dug all the way down and now we're working our way back up again. You got a little one at home? What do you tell her that mum's been doing every day? She says to me, I'm going to come and work under the ground. My four-year-old daughter, well, I show pictures to my family of what I do and they just think, wow, wow, how inspiring. So, hey, if we can be role models to our whanau to work hard, let's do it. Let's be that role model. We've got a pretty good crew. A lot of young fellas, you know, a lot, a lot of the young Kiwi boys, you know, so we sort of take them in and sort of, you know, nurture them, give them that opportunities, yeah. It's good to share the knowledge and, um, Hopefully in the future here we're going to have a lot more tunnels to build and you know, and then there'll be a lot more experience here. Yeah, no, you're pretty proud eh, of what you achieve. Be even more, I suppose, satisfying once the trains go through. Then the public can really appreciate, you know, what work we've done. What's your little girl's name? Paretoroa. You better say good day to her. Paretoroa, Yorubab. <laughs> <laughs>